everybody and welcome back to Mallow Acres. So we are going to do a nice little short check-in video today mostly because I've had some feedback that our videos are awfully small. Um, now when I watch them they look like they're normal to me so I was unaware but I'm going to try a different editing a different editing process today just to see if it's a little bit more viewer friendly for everybody. Um, so we're going to do a quick little video we're gonna walk around, we're gonna check out, we have a beaver, like we're gonna check out our beaver situation. And we're gonna plant some corn. I got my corn planter, I got my tiny bag of corn. My corn that I had originally planted didn't take. I think it, I honestly think it drowned. We had so much rain that uh, our back pasture flooded and I'm pretty sure my corn drowned. So, good old handy dandy grocery store. Still had corn out. So I went and bought a tiny bag here, I'll show you. A little bag of corn. It's peaches and cream. And that's all I know. Because it was just from the grocery store. So, uh, we are going to go for a walk. I am going to leave this stuff right here. Because Trevor made me a couple new beds. So, I'm going to flip you around here. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. So, this was our original cornbread. The uh, cornbread. <laughs> corn bed and you can see it's completely taken over by weeds now it's not looking good at all um, but because when we dug it with the excavator there was a bit of a trench it held water now back in here holds water horribly I'll actually show you Trevor tried cutting the grass yesterday and this is how wet our ground is still it's like jello over here so this is where you got stuck with the lawnmower and it is now holding water. So, although my vegetables are doing okay, I do need to weed whack again. The, just because it's wet over here, it doesn't stop the weeds from growing, unfortunately. I wish, but it does not. So, we are gonna ex -nay, not necessarily, not ex -nay this bed. I think I'm gonna weed whack it pretty good. And I'm gonna, I have a ton of pumpkins that uh, sprouted. So I'm going to go ahead and put pumpkins in here, I think. And just some fresh hay over top to hopefully help. Cause like, I don't see a single, like if I do get volunteer corn later in the year and my pumpkins, it's whatever, it's, it'll be awesome. But I honestly don't think any of it's gonna germinate because I did soak it first thinking that it needed to be soaked and then it did not need to be soaked because then it ended up sitting in water for a couple weeks so it's probably all rotten which is unfortunate but whatever we're gonna try again we have a short season so hopefully I can get this done in time so I got my corn planter tiny bag and then Trevor rototilled one two spaces for me so before we get to plant planting the corn before we plant I think we're gonna go for a walk so I'm gonna show you where our beavers were originally and we had some beaver trappers come out and help us out oh our pigeon we have a pet pigeon I don't know if you can see her there or him walking We have two pigeons. We've evicted them like three times now out of our ease, uh, not ease troughs, out of our soffit. And uh, they don't seem to care that we're here. Now they have babies, so now we're just gonna let them go for a little while. Let their babies hatch out because they're just living. Now they're just living with us. They're friends. They're the family friends. So this bridge, like our hay field, is, it's full. Like look at the beautiful heads. The grass is all gone up. Like this is, it's just too wet over here to be able to uh, maintain. So now the water looks horrible. The water is horrible because of the beavers. It's not moving like it should. So it's backing up and it's coming back into our yard and that's why we're having problem over there with our garden or my garden 
So originally, you can't see right now, but originally the beavers were right around that bend. And they had all of this flooded. So all the way up to that tree bush, like that little hedge row thing or small area of trees in the pasture was flooded. Oh, it looks like, oh, we have a lily pad. One lily pad, it looks like. Well, that's fun. Okay. This should be moving. This used to move really quick. Or at least when we knocked the beavers out, it moved quick for a little bit. But like, hold on. It's hard to see my camera screen here, but you can kind of see how high it is on our culvert. So, I'm going to take you for a walk to see where the darn things have relocated to, which is not that far. Just, just down the creek. So, okay, let's go. Do we think we should like, it's not really a detour, but we can like just walk through the greenhouse. I'm gonna show you what's in the greenhouse. My flowers are doing beautifully. I did, because we don't weed control. Planted one watermelon over here so that it would go all the way down and hopefully stop the dirt from splashing up on the greenhouse. My onions are doing beautiful. These are the pumpkins I was talking about. It looks like two seeds fell out. Gotta deal with that. This is my herb corner, celery, lettuce, peppers, more onions, sweet peas, I love sweet peas, squash, and my tomatoes are just doing nice in here. This I planted carrots, so they haven't popped up yet. I'm going to give them probably another four or five days of good watering. And then uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and replant my carrots because it was an old pack of seeds. So I think the germination rate might be a little bit low, but that is okay. Some is better than none. I've seen a couple pop up, but okay, here we are. So greenhouse behind me, garden, my fruit trees. We're not far from the culvert. And flip you around. Beavers. Again. So the creek actually like leaves our yard out to the road. The, there's people trying to trap them across the street in their like little area. But uh, they keep flooding. <laughs> they keep flooding us out. The beavers are bad this year. So the municipality said that uh, the beavers have already blown the budget, and that was about a month and a half ago. So the beaver removal process <laughs> is now upon the community. So I'm gonna have to hire a trapper. Hope to God that the guy across the street traps our beavers so that this water can start moving and it's not stagnant anymore. Because stagnant water is mosquito haven and flood in my garden. <laughs> Hands down, like my garden would drain, my corn would be up and beautiful right now if it wasn't for those darn beavers. But here we are. All right, so, and here's just like a quick, my tomatoes, they're not doing so hot. too wet way too wet so I'm hoping we can get those bad boys evicted quick and Trevor where is he? is now working over here so the rest of this will be a voiceover 
Okay, so this is obviously an old hand corn planter. You dump all of your seeds onto the seed holder on the side. You put it into the ground. It has two little like, hard plates that you push into the ground. You open up the planter and it drops your seeds into the hole that it has created. It worked amazing actually. Once I cleaned out the, there was like a spider's nest living inside of it. So once I took that out, it worked seamlessly. Okay, so corn planted. This thing works really well. Um, I'll probably have to go back through and uh, thin it out a little bit once uh, it all starts popping up. Because a couple of times it threw like four or five seeds down, which is a little excessive. But uh, I like it. So thank you to my brother-in-law for gifting me this. Um, hopefully this round of corn planting goes a lot better than last run. Um, so again, just a quick check-in. Let me know in the comments below if it's easier to see my videos this time. Um, I do really appreciate everyone who is following along with us and on this journey and I appreciate everyone who subscribes and helps our channel out and supports our channel at all. I do really appreciate every single one of you and if you're new here please subscribe. I, like I said, I really appreciate it. So, oh, we have a little Blair back there. He's busy eating his ice cream cone but uh thank you so much and uh thank you for following along have a good day guys